Yo, what is up guys, back here with another video. Today we are going to be talking about mice infestation at my school. And it's suck at. Now today, I'm going to be making a lot of pauses, so there's going to be a lot of skipping in this video. And also this is going to be part two of my two part series. I said it was three parts, but I really don't have another thing for my third part. So now it's just going to be a two part series. Let's get into it. But before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and comment to join the LJE squad. What goes here, and I'll see you guys at the start of the video, where my friend in the corner will be helping me narrate this commentary. Okay, so, uh, I was at the school once. This is one of my, this is my school, actually. I walk in, and it's morning. Walk into my homeroom, which is ironically also my social studies class. I walk into there, my teacher, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty decent with my teacher, she doesn't hate me, but she doesn't like me. It's not like we're friends on Facebook or anything. So, I'm talking to her, well we're not talking to her, as a matter of fact we're playing games on our iPads. And, we have these 8th grade students that come and talk to her every once in a while, and this one of these 8th grade students hears a noise. They go check into where they hear the noise, which is in the recycle bin. And there is a mouse just sitting there chilling like a villain inside the garbage can. Now, if you don't know anything about mice, is that they are very invasive. So that means that if we see one mice, that means that there's a thousand others somewhere in the school. That means that I'm getting the hell out of the school, but I can't get the hell out of the school because, well, I go to the school. So I'm stuck here, okay? So me and Chrissy just decide to torment our teacher. After they throw it outside without killing it, I would kill the fucking mouse, okay guys? The thing about mice is, you can't just throw them outside and they'll be all gone. No, they come back into the it, they come back into the school so fast, you won't even believe it. They can probably fit inside the cement of a floor, like I wanted to. So, we start tournamenting this teacher, we say, Oh, me and my sister are like, oh, I must have fell through the the roof and landed on her desk at night and all that. She just told us to shut up. Skip forward a year later, we're not in this teacher's class anymore. Matter of fact, we're in a health teacher's class. And a funny thing about a health teacher is she has candy inside her drawer. Mice like candy, so they they went and ate her candy. She wasn't happy about that. It's about fall break. We have two mice coming through that closet. But our teacher decided to put a mouse trap, a sticky mouse trap, on the ground. So when she came back from the fall break, she decided to look inside. She smelled something bad about like three periods into the school day. She checked where her candy was supposed to be, and Lord and behold, there is one and a half mice there. One and a half mice. I stress, I stress one and a half a lot because, well, one and a half mice when mice get scared they decide to go all kung fu style and they decide to resort to cannibalism in a nanosecond and so that's where the half came from neither of them lived they both died One time before i was even born my mom had we have a brother and they went uh and a sister and they went to the school school has mice infestation they went and did parent teacher conferences and this teacher said oh did you see our furry friend cross between my mom's legs. She was like, what? Well, that's it, guys. See you guys in the next video. Let's go!